Good morning, Sky Tech here. Uh, today um, it actually is morning, and uh, as you can see by the beautiful dappled sunlight falling across my workbench. And today I have this. This is the uh, door lock and window control from my 1998 Toyota T100 pickup truck. Um, the reason it's not currently in my pickup truck is because I replaced it and uh, the reason I replaced it is because this the driver's side window control here uh, gradually stopped working to the point where I mean it's, it worked but you had to like practically push the thing through the door in order to make it work so I figured I'd uh, since I've replaced it and no longer need this I figured I'd take it apart and I uh, figured maybe someone might want to watch me do that so let's uh get right to it. When this uh, was removed, the truck had about 180,000 miles, so, uh, it, you know, it performed pretty well, really. I mean, it stood up to quite some abuse. You can see the, this is the, the lock control here. It is completely worn off. It's supposed to have a little design on it. Uh, the only active electronics I expect to find in here are going to be for the auto down on the driver's side window. It has two positions, it, one right there and then one right there. Um, when you push it all the way down, the window rolls completely down and stops. And I think the way it works is it has a some sort of way of detecting how much load is on the motor. Um, the new one I got off of eBay because the OEM part is like $160 and the eBay one was like sixty dollars so it's probably not gonna last anywhere near as long as this but you know whatever I'm cheap once that one breaks I can take it apart and compare them um, and the new one actually has provisions for auto up and down uh, but it doesn't work the auto up doesn't do anything so I'm not sure if the active electronics for that is in this part or in the actual door um, let's see here Is this going to come off? Oh. I have a feeling this is going to just fall apart completely. Oh. Oh. Something just fell out. Oh! <laughs> this may be the problem. Very blackened contact just fell out. Alright. I think this yep, that button comes off. So now... Oh my god! Look at that! Ah! just electronic homicide it's like a crime scene in here okay well not really quite sure how this works this is really more complicated than I thought it would be um, there's like a little solenoid in here Oh, I see what's I see how this works. Maybe. I, that's very interesting, but there's just there's a really crazy amount of just carbon buildup in here. How does this work? So, hold on. I'm gonna try to zoom this in just a little bit. All right. I think my horrible camera is probably not going to be focused too well on this. I apologize for that. I should really buy a better camera. So you can see, it looks as though this contact came from over here. Would be my guess. So this is for the passenger side window. And that's pretty straightforward. It's just, you know one polarity and the other polarity but there is just I mean let me take these off so you can really see there is an insane amount of electronic poop stain right there I wonder why and it looks like this 
mechanism here might be slightly physically broken. Maybe that's why this stopped working. Oh, I see. Okay, so when... You but why does it have a solenoid in here? This is really way more complicated than I thought it would be. Because the solenoid moves the contacts, but when... When the switch moves back and forth, it moves the contacts. So I'm assuming that... So that's up and that's down, and then when you really push the switch, it just does the same thing? God, that's crazy. Not at all what I expected to be in here. Um, let me go ahead and remove the back and we can have a look at the circuit board in here. Um, Oh, this shit's falling out of here. Oh, that's for the lock. The lock button has no carbonization at all, almost. I guess that must not draw as much current. Hmm. Not sure if this screw is really holding anything in. I'm going to take it out anyway, because this is not going back together. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is just clipped in. Flathead screwdriver, the original spludger. Might need a might need my boy. Skinny penis here. Where is it? There he is. <laughs> yeah. This this is a, a implement of prying that I made by sharpening a flat blade screwdriver and the reason it's so short is because uh, <laughs> uh, a long time ago I was using it with a hammer and it pounded the the insulation handle part all the way back so it actually works really well for that now because you can pound right on this piece of metal which is you know this now it's not really a screwdriver anymore because it's sharp. It's more of a little itty bitty chisel slash general implement of prying. Works very well. I end up using it way more now than I did back when it was just a lowly flat blade screwdriver. That clip just does not want to... Come on. Oh, it's coming. There we go. Alright, so I do see some active circuitry under here. And this is kind of interesting, the way that this is constructed with these big rails. It looks like it's designed for, like, really high current or something, which probably... I don't know how much current a window motor draws. It's got to be a quite a lot, I would think, though. So this is, these are all staked in here. You know, let me desolder this. I may have to desolder it to get it out, but I'm right away I'm seeing um, a vertically mounted uh, IC package that says NJM2403SXC. I'll see if I can find a data sheet on that, and then what looks like maybe a MOSFET. And some various diodes and capacitors. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. More than I thought there would be. That must be... I don't know what that would be for, because... It's got to be to control this solenoid. Yeah, the wires from this solenoid go into here. So, you know what I think is happening here? I think it's actually using the switch contacts as a relay as well. So instead of having a switch and a relay, it's just the same thing. It's like a relay with, you know, a manual actuation handle. That's interesting. That's not what I would have expected to find in here. Let's see if I can uh maybe this thing will let me get it out here.
Yeah, they're coming right out. This is definitely... This solder definitely has lead in it. Which I approve of. Hope that was in frame. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. So here's our board. And that looks like a current loop, or not a current loop, a shunt to me. And it sort of fits. There's. It looks like it, uh, that sort of goes with my idea that this is detecting the current of the motor and when it stalls at the bottom it shuts off. Uh, this MOSFET looking thing here says D1582. Is that a diode? No, that's a transistor. That is a transistor, I'm sure of it. It says TR and it has an E on one of the legs. It's definitely a transistor. So perhaps that is... Let me see the... Yeah, okay, so there's where our... Our solenoid was connected. That transistor... Yeah, that transistor is driving the solenoid. Interesting. Now what's interesting about that is that it looks like the solenoid goes both ways. So... How are they doing that? Is there like an H bridge in here? That I don't know. Okay, so let's um You know what it's possible that it's only driving it one way, but it has the provision to go one way to go both ways for something that you know, for the auto up feature, which my truck doesn't have. Um you look up this uh you look up this big vertical package here. Okay, so that package on there, it's a comparator. Interesting. It's a dual comparator. Okay, so that sort of fits with my theory there, that they're just, you know, watching the, uh, the voltage across this little dingus here to detect the current and it's probably set by one of these resistors <laughs> and it's really no surprise that this crapped out considering the amount of shit stains on here so I'm not going to really bother to fully back engineer this thing because I don't really care, but I think it's kind of cool to look at. And it's I've never really seen this much carnage before. I'm going to take a high-res picture of this and put it up right now so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, this is a pretty brief one. More for my curiosity than anything else, but I uh, hope you liked watching it, and I'm going to have way more content in the next couple of weeks, so stick around.